Okay, today I'm going to talk about number conversions and the dollar sign. So let me start with that. So if we have a number, and I've written the number, the number is four, and I know that, spoke, that was supposed to be four dollars. So I have a stroke that I can write. It'll go back to the last number and put a dollar sign in front of it. See how easy that was? I have a number and it was four dollars. I keep writing. I do that stroke and it'll go back and do that. It'll go keep going to different numbers. So if I have 12, it was $12 and then he paid $5 and then he paid $7. I can do that stroke, it'll go to the last number and I can do it again. It'll go to the last number before that and the last number before that. See how simple that was? But say for instance, it is 4,250. So I write 4,250 and I keep on writing. If I want that to put a comma in there with the dollar sign, I have a different stroke for that. And I just write it twice and it goes back to the last number, puts a dollar sign in it, puts the correct commas in where they're supposed to be. Now, I recommend that you actually write your commas. I have a comma, delete space, comma, delete space defined so so I can actually do that already for comma 250. I have a if you look over here to the right my delete space comma delete space I write with RS. The reason why I did that is I was already doing a comma and it just made sense to keep doing that. I just got rid of a couple of letters. So I will actually do that and then you only have to have the one stroke to go back to put a dollar sign in front of things. But if you don't do the commas it will put it in there for you for 250 or 250 and I can write that stroke and I'll put it in. There's also one if you want to not put the decimal point in when they talk. So if it's 4,250 oh, if it's 4,250 and three cents, you can write it that way and there is a stroke for you to go back and do that. But to me that is very dangerous because I need to know where the commas and the periods go and I don't want to leave it to chance that I hit the right thing. So if they say for 250 and three cents, I put my 03 in there or I put the period in there because I don't like to worry about the dollars and cents and what the numbers were. But there is a way to do that. Let me show you how quickly you can put those in. Those are in system files. Inside system files is a case is a file called real time command dictionary. And here they are right here. The prefix number is right here. If you want to just put a dollar sign in front of a, do, of a number while you're writing it, not after, um, this is after you've written it, you double click on here and decide how you're going to do that steno. This has DZ, this is what they've recommended. So you can change that steno, you right click, copy to dictionary, personal dictionary, now it's in your dictionary. It was that simple. There are the other number conversions are down here. I will have them down below so you can cut and paste or you can at least see what each one means. And here's the one that has the commas in it. So you'd need to do a different stroke for that. So they've recommended dollars. You just change your stroke. This will put the commas. And this one is the one that puts the period with the uh, cents. So make sure you have something different for all three of those. All the simple as right click, copy to personal dictionary, it's in your dictionary, and you're ready to go. Okay, everybody, I hope you have fun converting all your numbers. Bye.